Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. Today, we're going to work on the very basic psychic tool of grounding. So, um, grounding brings you into present time. It keeps you in this reality. Sometimes um, you might be in fantasy land or you might be somewhere else. It brings you here and now. And why that is so important to be here and now is that that's where all your energy is in the present moment. Uh, it's also fantastic for those of you who feel uh, run maybe some more depressed energy. Depression is being in the past or you might be more anxious. Anxious energy is being in the future, um, being worried about the future. So your energy is out in front of you instead of right here, right now. So there are just wonderful benefits to being present and being grounded. So let's go ahead and do a quick meditation to set up that grounding cord. Um, and you can do this every day. You can do this a couple times a day. If you're going through something really difficult, then that grounding cord, um, I know when I'm going through something difficult or I've seen some of my clients who are just really releasing a lot, they blow out their grounding cord um, during the day. So, um, and you can use your discernment to figure that out. So, Let's go find somewhere really comfortable to sit down where you can close your eyes or you can lay down um, and kind of get all your squiggles and wiggles out so you can sit quietly and comfortably. And when you're ready, then go ahead and close your eyes. You don't need to look at the video. And just bring your energy to the center of your head space. Let anything go from outside of you in this moment, really giving the gift of just being present right here, right now. There are high vibrational angels, ascended masters, healing beings and even elementals it looks like high vibrational earth energies who would like to help you uh, if you would like their assistance then just say yes and they will help you with this grounding so from that center of headspace just Focus your attention down to where you're sitting or where that base chakra. Tuning into that energy of the physical world of your body. That very physical experience of that base chakra. And that's where we're going to attach the grounding cord from that base chakra. Imagining, envisioning a column of light energy from that base chakra all the way down to the center of earth. Once you feel that you your grounding cord has attached to the center of earth, has anchored there, then notice, allow, receive a nice hello back from earth. Seeing her earth energy, Gaia's energy, come back up around that grounding cord on the outside and then when reaching you encircling your aura 
in this beautiful, loving, protective energy. Some of you might be noticing that you feel a little heavy, that being grounded makes you feel more like that um, dense, making makes you feel gravity in a way that when you're out of your body, you don't have to experience and that that is okay. You are here, you are now. And with intention, let's set that grounding cord on maximum release. So noticing if there's anything in your body that's feeling sluggish or dense or tense, just feeling somatically or seeing if there are any areas however you feel or see or experience your body, your being present. And when you come across an area that feels a little dense, just allow it to liquefy and go down that grounding cord and then move on to another sluggish area, maybe a little tension, a little pain, just noticing those spots. There's nothing that you're doing other than using your attention and your energy right here and right now to just notice and allow that energy to move. You might even notice that some of the beings, the light beings, ascended masters, your healing guides, are around you if you invited them and they're moving that energy down the grounding cord. That they're helping to light up maybe something in your back body that you wouldn't normally see. They're helping move more dense, solid energies and making them more liquid so they can move effortlessly. You might yawn, yawn or sneeze is a wonderful way to release energy. If someone yawns in your presence, it's not a hit to your ego. They're just releasing energy. And I'm getting to look at, um, it looks like collective that base chakra, around that base chakra, there's some type of beliefs about um, not letting go. Kind of a, a fear of letting go of some energies. And the energies that you're wanting to hold on to are it's not your energy. And just inviting you to let go of anything in that base chakra that's not yours, that you might be grasping onto. Something that's out of present time, something that's not yours. Just with the intention, I, I intend to release anything that is not for my highest and greatest good. Nice. And let's just invite um, a nice 
uh, light energy from above your head, from source, God, creator, the I am that I am. Inviting a nice, bright, white column of healing light. You could feel it maybe as it hits your crown chakra and clears and cleans and then moves to your third eye chakra, activating, clearing, cleansing, releasing any beings that are in your space, anybody else's energies, allowing that light to move to your throat chakra, clearing any lie energy, anything that says that you can't speak your truth, and letting that light travel to your heart chakra, activating, energizing, opening that heart chakra so you can be yourself. And then moving down, allowing that light to continue its journey to your solar plexus chakra, your seat of your personal power, clearing anything, any any energies that are attached to your sacral chakra or solar plexus chakra, taking your energy away, activating your own personal power, letting that light continue down to your sacral chakra, Activating, opening, energizing, clearing, and that light continues down to that base chakra. Activating, opening, clearing, healing. And then allow that light to continue down that base chakra, from that base chakra, down that grounding cord that you created, allowing that divine light and energy to clear that grounding cord, to strengthen it. Not allowing anyone or anything to unground you so you can stay present. Allowing that light to connect with earth. So earth as well gets a lovely healing. Really letting go of anything that's causing disturbance in your space, just releasing any tensions, any lack. And then thanking Earth for this healing, thanking source, thanking the beings of light who helped heal your grounding cord. If you invited healing beings or healing ascended masters, angels, sending them appreciation. I'm sending you appreciation for showing up today. And then when you're ready, just moving your body, coming back into the room, noticing the air on your skin, taking a nice deep breath. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. 
and noticing, do you feel any different than you did before you did this grounding meditation? Do you feel calmer, more at ease, maybe peaceful, maybe some more space, maybe not so rushed, and maybe uh, a sense of you have everything you need instead of feeling so much lack. Let me know. I would love to hear in the comments below um, what you noticed. Um, and if you notice that your grounding cord was a certain color or if something you did instead of a light, maybe you did a, a, a roots, like roots of a tree. I'd love to hear any um, anything that you've noticed that you'd like to share about this video and about grounding. So, all right, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.